Hello, this morning I want to look at a story, well-known story, of Moses at the burning bush, Exodus chapter 3. In it, Moses is shepherding the flock of his father-in-law Jethro in the wilderness when the angel of the Lord appears to him. There is a bush. The bush is on fire, but it's not being consumed. It's burning and burning, and it's still a bush. And Moses turns aside to look at this site. It's as if God has enticed him over and got him exactly where he wants him to be. Moses actually feels he's in a bit of a trap because God asks him to do something he doesn't want to do. And he gives him five reasons why he's not really the right fella to do it. However, I just want to focus on the one that's found in verses 12 through 14, where Moses basically says to God, look, I don't even know your name. How can I go down to Egypt and say, God says, let my people go when I don't even know who you are really and God says to him I am who I am that's what you should tell them <laughs> what sort of answer is that what well, is an interesting answer isn't it just like the bush was burning but it wasn't consumed our God burns but he's not consumed and also, his people may experience fire, but they are not consumed. There's three brief points that we can bring out of this encounter with Moses. The first is that God himself is like the burning bush. He does not change. He's not consumed by events or history. They don't overtake him. He is the Lord. He changes not. He is immutable. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Secondly, God's people will remain. Whether we're talking about Israel or whether we're talking about the church, we will remain. Yes, Israel's been through the fire, all right, and the church has been through fire. And yet, what will emerge on that great day is the people of God. And through the experiences that we are going, we shall remain the people of God. That which he begins, he completes. The third thing is that God's plans don't change. God doesn't look at the way the world's going and say, ah, oh, I never realized that would take place. His unchanging purposes remain the same. And his intention is not that this present world in its current state should endure forever because there will come a day it will come like a thief the heavens will disappear with a roar the elements will be destroyed by fire and the earth and everything in it that day will bring about the destruction of the heavens by fire and the elements will melt in the heat but in keeping with his promises we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth in which righteousness will dwell but you know what will be on the other side God himself. I am who I am. He will be the same unchanged. His people will be there. I will be there. You will be there. I am who I am. I will be able to say I'm still John Cleveley and I've come through the fires of trial and life and death and resurrection. And thirdly, the universe will be recreated Yes, it will be new, and yet it will be this universe, this good earth, reunited with the Lord together forever. I am who I am. I do not change, says the Lord.